These are the ingredients which I've already prepared. We have here the chopped onions and scallions, the garlic, ginger, spring onion tops, the green that we'll throw in at the end of cooking or near the end of cooking. And we've got also some carrots here. Seeing as it's beef, I've got down here a little bit of soy sauce. I've got down here some fresh thyme and I've got here oil and my seasoning down here, my jam down lot of seasoning. That's the seasoning I'll be using. And I've got my uh, scotch bonnet pepper, which I make myself. And instead of uh, putting in whole scotch bonnet or whatever, I can put in a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half or whatever. And I have here black pepper. So the minced beef has been washed already and I left it overnight to drain. So it's ready for us. I've also got some um, potato starch just to um, bind everything together. I know a lot of people use flour, but I'm not using any flour. I would sooner use the potato starch. Okay, so after getting our pan nice and hot, what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw in some olive oil. That's about two and a half, three tablespoons full of olive oil. Then what I'm gonna do is make up uh, 400 grams of onions. Okay, that's about 400 grams of onions. Because we've got, um, I've got 1200 grams, 1.2 of mince. So we need about one fourth or even up to a half if you like it really uh, oniony. So we're gonna sweat the onion. We're also gonna add in some little bit of ginger. Sweat that all down. We're gonna make you a lovely bit of beef patty here. And we put in some garlic. That's just about an, a regular spoon of uh, ginger. Then we got uh, one tablespoon of um, garlic. So after adding the garlic, we're actually just gonna let that cook out for a while before we add the carrots. We want this to wilt right down. So we will just keep stirring it. Need a nice high fire here. And we're gonna sweat this right down. So after every two to three minutes, you give it a complete stirring. So um, we'll let that go on for a while. So as you can see, what we're doing is sweating this down. It's gonna get to a nice brown color. I've added the carrots. Once I see it start browning, I add the carrots. I'm gonna fry that right down. So we're going to give it another good stir, scraping on the bottom, nothing's burning there, okay that's sweating down really good. I need to sweat down a bit more before we add the um, meat. At this point I'm going to add a teaspoon of chopped thyme, chopped thyme, which is the uh, main herb for Caribbean cuisine. Thyme is used in nearly everything in Jamaican recipes. So there we go. We'll just give it another two minutes then we'll put the meat in. So after putting in the thyme leaf and sweating this down a little bit more I can put the meat in. So we put in the meat, it will soon break down, it looks uh, a massive load but believe you me, that's going to melt down a bit. So we give that a good stir in and at this time we can turn the fire down so it's not going to burn. We can turn it back up when it starts to fry again because this is quite a long process to break the meat down, get it all brown till it starts to fry again. Right now it's going to stew for a little, all the juices in the meat is going to come out 
I'm not going to put the curry powder until it starts frying. Juice is coming out of the meat so we regularly stir it and now we can put the fire back up because we want that to dry out as soon as possible and come back to a fry. So I've turned my fire back up and what I do now is just uh, you keep stirring this, put it on a high heat. We want to loosen it all up. That's why you might see me stirring it so much at the moment. In the beginning, you've got to do that in order for the juices to help to break down the clumps of meat. You know, the, the heat gets in and then they'll um, either stick together if you don't mix it as lumps, or if you stir it and mix it, they're going to loosen up. So that's why I give it a regular stirring at this point. And there you can see it's all breaking up. And that's already looking nice and smelling nice, huh? Smelling so good. Jamaican beef patties. Process. Step by step cooking with Chef Martin Taylor. Jam down a lot of foods. Have a look at this. This is my jam down a lot of seasoning. So I'll get my tablespoon. There's my tablespoon. We're gonna get three of those pretty soon. Once the meat starts to fry. That's it. Oh, it's smelling really good. Put lots of onions in my food instead of adding flour to thicken it. The onions and the vegetables that you put in that's going to cook right down, they'll be your thickening agent. And this one, if it's a little bit oily, I can dry it up with, they used to dry it up with a little bit of breadcrumbs or whatever, but I got potato starch here. Mom used to use a bit of breadcrumbs sometimes. Okay, I can hear that frying, it's just slightly starting to catch on the bottom, which is no problem because by the time you stir it, so now, is the time we should add our curry powder so we can add our curry powder now i got three tablespoons one two three three tablespoons and i'll stir this around mix that in now once it starts to fry what I can do is reduce my fire to a medium flame. Stir this all around. See the color? How brown it's getting? That's what we want, that lovely brown color. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of the spring onion tops. Okay. We're just going to brown it a little bit more before adding just over a cup of water. And that's what's going to help the meat cook right down. You can actually do it like this and just make patties like this, but you need something to really uh, kind of hold it together. Okay, you see everything's frying right down now and um, it's even starting to caramelize. So you gotta keep, keep rubbing it, rubbing it out. You can turn your fire right down now. Yeah. Now we're gonna add the soya sauce. Here, I'm just gonna add one, two, three, four. We'll finish that. We got five uh, spoons of soy sauce. Then we're going to mix in one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two tablespoons of potato starch. We mix that all in. Mix that all in. Mix that all in. The fire back up. And we can add in one cup of water. I think the one cup will be enough. One cup of water. 
I'm gonna get it, might need the other half. This is the finish stage. That's what you want, the finish stage. But because we're gonna let it cook out a bit more, I'm gonna add another half a cup of water. So we give it a good mixing. Fire's down really low. Now this is the time when we can cover it. Fire down really, really low. When we can cover the pan. So, there we go. Mr. Aristocrat. Okay. So what we do, we're going to add now a teaspoon of scotch bonnet. Teaspoon that's just like a, oops, there we go. So, oops, because we know this stuff is hot. I make it all myself. You know, I'll be showing you how to make my hot pepper sauce with scotch bonnets and the process. It's a six week process, by the way. See, that's looking more like uh, what you would have in a patty. We're going to let that cook out for a bit. Then we will correct the seasonings. Okay, so after 20 minutes, I can come and give this a good stir. And you can see it's just starting to catch on the bottom. And this is the perfect consistency. So I've checked the seasoning and it is absolutely fantastic. Right? So that's now ready. We're gonna have a good taste of it. Mmm, lovely. So we can turn that off because that is ready. So I've turned it off. What I'm gonna do is transfer it to the um, tray so it can cool down quite quickly. So that's what I'll do. We add it in here. That's it. Flatten it all out and this will cool down pretty quickly but we want to get it nice and cold so it can be put in the fridge after it's cooled down and you use it when you want sometimes what I do I put it in bags and I put it in the freezer and when I need to make patties or when I fancy some patties I just take it out the freezer and the pastry and the meat will defrost and then I just roll my patties and bake them away. So that's it. We finally um, finished the beef and that's getting cold and uh, we'll be putting them together next time pretty soon with uh, the pastry. I'll show you how to roll the pastry, how to uh, prepare and bake your Jamaican patties. Martin Taylor the jam down a lot of foods, Jamaican beef patties. Thanks for cooking along with me and I hope you will find my recipe so delicious because I do and um, you continue making it. Join me again next time for some other recipes. I'll show you how to put the patties together. So then you will have seen the three different processes goes through to make these Jamaican patties. Okay, so until next time, happy cooking.